Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sunday Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So in this video, an update regarding talk show host Wendy Williams and her fill-in host Leah Remini, who's on there right now with her bestie, and just some updates and things that I've been hearing. So Leah made it very clear on Wendy's show that she was not trying to take over her show. Um, she's heard rumors that people are saying that. She says that she lives in Los Angeles. She's not interested in taking over anyone's show. Her and her best friend, they're just there having a good time. They want Wendy to return back to her show and get well soon. So it's very clear that Leah was, you know, paying attention to the press and what everyone was saying, but Again, remember what was also said is that Wendy did not have any input regarding Leah filling in as a host for her and the executives did not inform her and Wendy is angry about this allegedly. All right. Now, I do believe that's that rumor could be possibly true that's possible because as i mentioned in the previous video that sometimes some employers when you are ill and not well they don't contact you regarding work issues or work things or you know work decisions because they want you to rest they want you to get well they don't want to overwhelm you with anything as well but I also did hear what you guys had to say as well in the comments under that video. And you guys were saying, well, Sunny, it's her show. She should have been informed about who's going to be on there because that's her talk show. But you guys, it is her talk show, but there are people way up you know, above Wendy that also are the decision makers and the change makers up at the top. And allegedly for many or well, two years now, I've been hearing that the executives have been wanting to replace Wendy for some time, you know, but they just didn't know how to go about it, right? She is high risk, right? And sometimes when people are investing in you, they can't take chances on people who have some habits that they have to deal with or health issues that they have to deal with. A lot of people are scared to invest in people like that, right? Because they never know what's going to happen with their money and their investments as well. So it's very risky business. And I don't believe that it's personal. I believe that the executives do care about Wendy to a certain extent, but this is a business relationship. It's not personal. It's just business. And for Leah, I think that she's doing a decent job. She's also being herself. I really like like her a lot. Um, with her bestie being on the show, that's something very different. Um, that whole layout situation, I didn't expect that. Um, but that that's interesting. And they seem like very safe. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not like Wendy. Okay. Leah's not like Wendy. She doesn't want to be Wendy. She just wants to be herself, which I really respect. And I appreciate that as well. She's got her own character, her own talent as well, and her own projects. So she's not interested in taking over the Wendy Williams show, but I do believe that she is using this opportunity to possibly pitch a show, um, for her and her bestie. I think that's why she brought her bestie on there to pitch a possible talk show maybe for them because this is part of their resume now as well right so this can open up other opportunities for them possibly in los angeles and something leah did mention as well is that she had an opportunity to have her own talk show and it did not work out that well so i think this time around she's trying to see if she has a co-host then maybe her talk show could possibly work out in the future if that's something that she's interested in um, looking into or getting involved in but anyway in until our next conversation, thank you so much for watching and thank you for listening to another view. But remember that my view is not the only view. So I'm really excited and looking forward to hearing your feedback as well in the comment section. If you are on Instagram, please connect with me over there. Follow me at Sunday Omni and be sure to check out the video description just below this video and get your copy of my ebook. It's called More Than Good Enough. I would love for you guys to check out um, my book and also get to know me a little bit more as well. And for those of you who got a copy of my book, thank you so much for your support and your encouragement. I love you guys so much. Take care of yourselves and have a fantastic day. Cheers.